of the end for the MK party, while internal conflict threatens to tear the party apart. The MK party is facing a critical moment with internal divisions and ideological clashes threatening to dismantle its future. In a heated debate during the recent meeting, party leaders and members found themselves locked in intense confrontations over leadership roles, strategy and the party's overall direction. The turmoil within the MK party has raised serious questions about its ability to survive in the fast-changing political landscape of South Africa. Will the party overcome its internal struggles and reclaim its relevance, or are we witnessing its downfall? Well, the MK party, born out of the MK, which happened to be the military wing of the ANC, has long been regarded as a symbol of South Africa's struggle for freedom. Formed in the 1960s to fight against apartheid, the party carried the legacy of revolution and liberation. For decades, it played a role in shaping South Africa's political identity. However, as time passed, the party's influence diminished. While the ANC continued to dominate the political landscape, the MK party struggled to establish a clear identity apart from its revolutionary roots. Over the years, many within the party have debated whether it should continue to align with the ANC or carve out its own political space. This debate has now escalated into an internal conflict that threatens to break the party apart. The recent meeting, intended to strategize for upcoming political engagements, quickly turned into a battleground for leadership and policy direction. One of the main points of contention was how the party should approach governance and its role in South African politics. On one side, a faction of the party's leaders advocated for a more radical approach. I mean, they argue that bold moves are necessary to win back support and challenge political heavyweights like the ANC and the EFF. On the other hand, another faction within the party prefers a moderate approach that aligns more closely with traditional ANC policies. They believe the MK party must find common ground with the ANC if it is to survive and regain relevance. This division has only grown wider as the party's support has steadily declined. In the meeting, Accusations flew with some members accusing the leadership of nepotism and favoritism, especially when it comes to selecting candidates for upcoming elections. These grievances, which have been simmering for years, finally reached a boiling point during the meeting, leading to a bitter clash of opinions and even a walkout by some of the party's younger members. Guys, tell me in the comment section. Do you think the MK party can regain its political relevance despite its internal divisions or should the MK party take a more radical or moderate approach to governance?